Hi, my name is Emily and welcome to Sweet Cake Parents. In today's video, I'm super excited to share how to crochet this adorable little triceratops. This is the pink triceratops and then this is the green colored triceratops that I created. Um, you can see they are both super duper cute. Now, if you want to add the passi pacifier loop for this triceratops, you can either check out my free blog post I have on my blog or you can check out my ad-free PDF and I'll put links to all that into the in the description box down below. Now one other thing I want to mention real quick before we start the tutorial is that you can add this little crochet rose to the top of your triceratops if you want. And if you want to add the rose, you can check out last week's YouTube video on how to make the rose. I'll put a link in the cards up here and then also in the description box down below. So let's get started making this adorable little triceratops. So the supplies that you'll need today is Premier Basics Chenille in their color um, blush or any color that you want to use. You can use green or whatever color you want. And then you also need some um, of their color white. So this is just plain white and then blush. Um, but you can make your dino, your little triceratops any color that you want. Then you'll need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and a seven millimeter crochet hook. And sorry, my um, my hook got a little bit uh, discolored from some yarn <laughs> once upon a time and it's just taking a while to come off but that's the only reason that's kind of a weird color. Then you'll need a stitch marker just to be able to mark where the first stitch of your round is. You'll need um, some safety eyes. I'm using um, 10 millimeter safety eyes. You'll need scissors of course. You'll need um, a darning needle and you'll need some stuffing for to stuff the body and the head and all that. So what you're going to do is to begin, you're going to grab your um, pink yarn or whatever color you want your main body to be. So for example, in this uh, triceratops, my main body color was um, green. So then you'd begin with your green yarn. Okay, so you're going to grab your um, your main color of yarn, so color A, and then you're going to grab your seven millimeter crochet hook. And to begin, we're going to start with the head and then we're going to go right to, from the head to the body and the tail. And then we'll come back later and do the legs and then the plate and horns. So we're going to start at the front of the head, go all the way back and then go back to the tail, then add the le legs on and the plate and the horns. So we are going to begin by making a magic circle. And to make a magic circle, you're just going to put the yarn at the base of your fingers and wrap around making a cross or like an X shape. And then you're going to flip your hand to the back side and you're going to grab the, go under this strand of yarn and then grab the second strand of yarn. And now what you're going to do is you're going to begin by making sing, uh, six single crochets into this magic ring. So I personally like to, whenever I'm starting, I like to just make a chain and then single crochet six, but you that's totally optional. So I'm going to single crochet six. So I'll put the stitch marker at my first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to grab this tail and tighten. So now you should have six stitches, obviously, at the end of round number one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you're going to, um, for round number two, you're going to single crochet increase in each stitch around. So you're just going to begin, you're going to begin working in the round, so you're just going to single crochet into the first stitch. So I'm going to make a single crochet into the first stitch, and then you're going to single crochet one more time into that very same stitch. So that's all a single crochet increase is. It's just two single crochets into one stitch. And then you should end up with 12 stitches at the end of this round. I'm just gonna do this on camera real quick so we can do it together. There we go. 
Now I sh you should have 12 stitches and for rounds three and four, you're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. So just very simple um, single crochet in each stitch around and we'll make sure to move your stitch marker at the beginning of each round so you um, can keep track of that as you go. And I'm gonna meet you back once I finish round number four and we will continue. All right, so you can see that we just finished rounds number three and four, and now for round number five, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, um, uh, we're gonna single crochet into the first four stitches. So I'm going to move my stitch marker to the first stitch, there we go. And to make a single crochet, you're just gonna insert, yarn or pull through, and yarn or pull through too. I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, but that's how you make a single crochet. And if you're struggling with uh, any of these terms you can either look them up on YouTube or I have a tutorial for most of them. So one, two, three, four single crochets and now you're going to um, single crochet increase into the next four stitches. So all that means is just two single crochets into one stitch. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. And now into the last four stitches, you are just going to single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And now we finish round number five. So for round number six, you are just going to single crochet in each stitch around. Very simple round. And I forgot to mention, but for round number five, you should have 16 stitches. Now for round number six, because you're just single crocheting in each stitch around, you should also have 16 stitches. So I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you back and we will continue for round number seven. All right, so I just finished round number six and you should have 16 stitches, just like for round number five, we had 16 stitches. And now for round number seven, we are going to single crochet into the first four stitches like we did for round number five. So single crochet into the first four stitches, one, two, three, and four. And now you're going to single crochet, increase in the next stitch, and then you're gonna single crochet in the next stitch and you're gonna repeat that four times. So all that means we're gonna do is into the next stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet increase, which just means two single crochets into one stitch. Then in the next stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet increase. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet. And you're probably getting the, um, the repeat here. So increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, and you're just gonna repeat that a total of five, four times. So increase, single crochet, repeat a total of four times. And I've done it for three. Now there we go, and that's four. So you can see, you can kind of tell the repeat. So we're gonna increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet. And now you should have, um, four stitches left, so you're gonna increase in the next stitch, so make a single crochet increase in the next stitch, and then you're gonna single crochet into the last three stitches. And you should end up with a total of 21 stitches at the end of round number seven. Okay, so for rounds number eight and nine, you're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So for the next two rounds, just single crochet in each stitch around, and you should have 21 stitches. All right, so I just finished rounds number eight and rounds number nine. So now what we're gonna do is for round number 10, we're gonna make a single crochet in the first stitch and then we're gonna decrease in the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat that all around for the whole, the, like the whole round. So make a single crochet in the first stitch and move your stitch marker. And then into the next stitch, what we're gonna do is we are gonna make a decrease. So that just means that you're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Then you're gonna insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. And now you're just gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that just basically means you just lost one stitch. So now we're gonna do that. We're gonna single crochet in the next stitch. 
and then we're gonna single crochet decrease in the next stitch. And it should be a, that repeat of single crochet and then decrease. Um, you should be able to do a total of uh, seven times for this round. So single crochet in the next stitch and decrease in the next stitch. Repeat that and I will meet you back and we will continue to the body. All right, so I just um, hot glued my safety eyes and uh, put stuffing in here. And I like to also tie, weave in this magic circle tail. Um, I know you probably won't have to, but I like to do that too. So I just did that too. Okay, so now for the body, for round one of the body, we're just continuing the basically the head, but I'm, I say to call this round one of the body. So now what you're gonna do for round one is you're going to just single crochet in each stitch around. So you should have 14 stitches at the end of round number one of the body. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll meet you right back. One thing I might recommend is just taking a little of the stuffing out and then you can always add a little more stuffing later. All right, so I just finished round number one of the body. Now what we're gonna do is for round number two, we are going to increase in the first four stitches. So just single crochet increase into the first four stitches. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker and then I'm going to do one more single crochet into that same stitch. Now I'm going to do that in the next three stitches. So single crochet increase in the next total of four stitches. One, two, three, and this is my last one, four. There we go. One, two, three, and four. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you should end up with a total of 18 stitches at the end of round number two. So this is how it is looking as you can see. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to, for round number three, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and you're gonna repeat that increase, single crochet, three times. So into the first stitch, we are gonna make an increase. I'm going to move my stitch marker and then single crochet one more into that same stitch. You're going to single crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next stitch, and single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, one, two, 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 three, three. There we go. So now for um, the rest of this round, you're just going to single crochet 12. So I'm going to do that. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so we just finished those 12 single crochets. Now for round, um, and you should have 21 stitches at the end of round number three. So now for round number four, we are going to single crochet into the first 14 stitches. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker. There we go. And then I'm going to single crochet into the first 14 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So now for, so we just did sing, 14 single crochets, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to increase in the next five stitches. So single crochet, increase in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And now you are going to single crochet in the last two stitches. So there we go. So you can kind of see the body shape taking 
kind of taken form. So now for round number, you should have 26 stitches at the end of round number four. So for rounds number five through nine, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch round. So that's the next five rounds, just single crochet in each stitch round, and then I'll meet you back and we will continue. All right, so I just finished rounds number five through nine. Now, I just wanted to add a little more stuffing at this point, but you definitely do not have to if you don't want to, but I just wanted to kind of continue to make sure it's nice and firm on the head and then kind of the neck area, and I just added a little to the body. I probably should take a little bit of it out because otherwise it's gonna be annoying. There you go, okay. So now, for round number 10, what we're gonna do is you should have 26 stitches for rounds five through nine. I probably forgot to mention that. But now for rounds for round number 10, what we're gonna do is we are going to single crochet in the first two stitches. So one, I'm gonna move my stitch marker, and two, there we go. And I got a little stuffing, there we go. One and two. And now you're going to um, single crochet decrease over the next five stitches. So make a decrease, one. So that was one, there's two decreases. Here's a third decrease, four and five. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the stuffing out, there we go. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you are going to single crochet in the next 14 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now for round number 11, you are just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So it's super simple, just single crochet in each stitch around, and I'll meet you back at the end of round 11. All right, so as you can see, I finished round number 11, and I'm just going to add, at this point my pattern says to add stuffing, and so I have kind of though added enough stuffing already. I would recommend with this pattern to kind of overstuff a little bit because after over time, the stuffing will kind of um, get less firm and so I just like a really nice firm um, stuffed animal but you can do whatever you like. So we just finished round number 11 and now for round number 12 you are going to double crochet or sorry not double crochet you're going to decrease over the first two stitches and so just do a decrease a single crochet decrease there we go. And then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And you're gonna do that um, for, for each stitch around. So decrease and then single crochet. And it's a total of, you'll do that seven times, decrease, single crochet seven times, but you're just gonna continue around. And you should end up with 14 stitches. I'm gonna do this on camera just um, because I'm almost done anyway. So. There we go. So now that I finished that, what you're gonna do is, you should have 14 stitches like I just mentioned before, and now what you're gonna do for round number 13 is you're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. So I will move my stitch marker and just single crochet in each stitch around, and I will meet you back when we are done with round number 13. Okie dokie, so I just finished um, round number 13 where we just single crochet in each stitch around, and I just added some more stuffing, so this is really nice and firm. And now what we are going to do is, for round number 14, we are going to begin by making a decrease in the first, over the first two stitches, so Make a single crochet decrease, move your stitch marker. There we go. Now you are going to single crochet in the next stitch, and then you're gonna repeat that one more time. So decrease in the next stitch, and then single crochet in the next stitch. And it's a little bit tough to crochet, especially when I'm trying to hold this on a desk and make sure it's still on camera, but 
you're just going to continue to work like that. So we just did our decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet. Now you're going to do one more um, single crochet decrease. Now you're going to do a half double crochet, which is the first time we've used half double crochet in this pattern. But to do a half double crochet, you're just going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that is what a half double crochet should look like. Now you're going to half double crochet decrease in the next, um, over the next two spaces. So to do that, you're just going to yarn over and insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. And then now, instead of norm normally you'd yarn over and pull through all three loops, instead you're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. Now you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch, and you're just going to do that. To, to do that, you're just going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now in the last two stitches, you are going to half double crochet decrease again. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. And there we go. So now we are going to turn the page and for round number 15, you're going to single crochet in, into the first four stitches and then you're going to half double crochet into the next five stitches. So you're just going to do that simple single chain in the first four stitches, half double crochet in the next five stitches, and I will meet you back. Okay, so we just finished round number 15 and you should have nine stitches. And now what you're going to want to do is at this point you're going to want to add stuffing. So I'm going to go grab some stuffing and stuff it nice and firm. And because you're going to keep doing decreases and before long you're not going to be able to stuff it very well. So I'm just going to add some stuffing and then I'll meet you right back. Alright, so I just stuffed my body really nice and good. And so now for round number 16 you're going to make a decrease in your first, over your first two stitches. Then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to make another single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Whoop. There we go. And then you're going to make a single crochet. Then you're going to do a half double crochet decrease in the next over the next two stitches. And then you're going to make a single or a half double crochet in the next stitch. So, just a little recap because I felt like I didn't explain that very well. Um, decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, half double crochet, decrease, half double crochet. So now we finish round number 16. And at this point, if you want to add stuffing for that last round that we did, you're welcome to. I'm going to continue and show you how to do round number 17. So for round number 17, and you should have six stitches for round number 16. So for round number 17, you'll have six stitches again. You're just going to single crochet into um, the first three stitches, and then you're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so we just finished round number 17 and we did three single crochets and then three half double crochets. Now for round number 18, we are going to make a half double crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. There we go. Alright, so this is how it looks and you can kind of see that we when we did those decreases now it kind of brought that up So now it kind of should have this shape where it kind of looks like a tail Now what we're gonna do is we are going to for round number 19. We are going to decrease um, Times three so we are just going to make a single crochet decrease in each um, stitch around so one, so we should end up with three stitches at the end, and you will basically be unable to, um, with those three stitches, you basically can't do much of anything. 
So now what you're gonna, all you're gonna do is you're just going to um, do one more decrease for round, so this is round number 20 technically now. You're gonna do one more decrease and then you're going to just slip stitch and there you go. That is your little body and now we're going to do the legs, the, the plate and the horns. All right, so for the head plate, I was just, I just found my stitch markers. So here's the original one and then here's just another one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find um, seven stitches across the bottom back of the head. So what you're gonna do, and it's on round number nine. So you should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then there should be sti six stitches across the bottom of the head that do not have a plate. So I'm gonna just kind of roughly eye it and then I'm gonna count. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there you go. And now I'm going to kind of see if that's roughly in the center because you don't want it, you can see kind of, I don't have it very centered because here's my two eyes and then here's that. So we need to kind of move it a little bit. So, because you don't want your thing to start here and then end here, that would look really, really bad. So we are going to move it. I'm gonna move it maybe to here and then one, two, three, four, five and six. <clears throat> like that. Nope, that's not quite right. So you can see I'm kind of just playing with it until I can get it right. So because what you're gonna do is you're gonna work into this round. So you're actually going to crochet this on to it instead of having to sew it on, which I absolutely love. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna begin the um, the plate. So what we're gonna do is we're going to find, so this was six stitches and in, into the seventh right here. Now what I like to do is I like to go around, so this is round number nine, and I like to go around kind of that single crochet. That's kind of how I'm gonna do it. And, but you can do it kind of however you like to do it. Now what you're gonna do, you're just going to join the yarn on and chain two. Now into that first spot that you just did the chain two into, you're gonna make a double crochet increase. So you're going to do two double crochets to that very first spot. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna double crochet into the next 13 um, stitches. So we're gonna go into the next one, and the next one, and the next one, just continuing Kind of what I'm going, what I'm doing is kind of going around that single crochet. It is pretty easy once you get the idea of it, and it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't stress about it if it's not like not perfect. As long as it looks like what it's supposed to look like, you are perfectly good. So, I have lost track of how many stitches I have done, but I'm not too worried. I'll just kind of come over to about where my stitch marker is. And let's see, I have currently, so we did those first two, that doesn't count. So now we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now you can see we're about back to the beginning and it looks like I did an experiment, there you go. So we did our 13 double crochets around. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one into this last stitch right here. We are going to do a double crochet increase. So a little recap, we did 13 um, double crochets so we did a double crochet increase, 13 double crochets, and then another double crochet increase. And you can kind of see, you can kind of get the idea of what we're doing. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. And then you're going to chain one. 
You're gonna double crochet into the next stitch, so this one right here. Then you're gonna chain one, and then you're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. So you're gonna kind of do that repeat around. So now we did a slip stitch to finish that one off, and we're gonna now just chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and now we're starting the repeat again. So slip stitch, oh, there we go. Chain one, double crochet into the next space. If I can figure that, there we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So now I'm going to double crochet into the next space, chain one, slip stitch into the next stitch, and you're just going to follow that repeat. So chain one, and double crochet, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, double crochet, chain one, slip stitch. And I'm now going to continue this and I will meet you right back. All right, so now you can see that I'm to my last two stitches. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna chain one and do your double crochet into the next space or stitch, then you're gonna chain one and you're just gonna slip stitch into the last stitch. There we go. And now you can kind of see that our like our ridges for the head are complete. So this is what it should be looking like. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to um, make the white peaks on the top of each one. So you're gonna cut your yarn and you have finished your little plate with this yarn. And you're gonna go ahead and now and grab your white yarn for the first time. And I'm gonna try to find the center pole of it. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab this and we're gonna make the little peaks at the tops. So to do that, we are going to, we found the piece of yarn finally, and you're going to just start at this peak. You can feel that's where the double crochet was. So we're going to insert our hook into that double crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull through, chain one, and slip stitch into that same stitch. And now you're just going to tie off. It's kind of, it kind of leaves you with a lot of tails, but it seems to work the best. Otherwise, you wouldn't get that like little white spot at the top of each one. And I just think that adds so much cuteness. But you wouldn't really have to have it. So if you say you don't want to do that, it would work too. So now I'm just gonna cut my yarn and then I'm gonna go to the next double crochet peak and do the same thing. It's basically repeating it for the top of each peak. So chain one, slip stitch, cut your yarn, and I'm gonna continue to do this for the top of each peak. You should have um, you should have eight peaks to do it on. All right, so I just we um, tied in all of those tails, and all I did was I just made a double knot and then cut the yarn, and it seems to work pretty well. I did that for my other um, triceratops, and it seemed to work well too. So now that we did that, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna do the legs. So to make the legs, you're gonna grab your pink yarn again, per usual. <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside for a second and we're gonna grab our seven millimeter crochet hook. So we're gonna begin by making the back legs first, and then we're gonna make the front legs. So to do that, I will pull my sleeve up. There we go. You were going to make a magic circle. To make a magic circle, you put the yarn at the base of your fingers and wrap it around like a X shape. Then you're gonna flip it around to the front, go under the first strand of yarn, and grab the second strand of yarn pull that yarn up, and you're going to make 
a chain, you're gonna chain one. I like to just chain one, you wouldn't have to chain one, but you're gonna begin by making eight single crochets into this ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. Now we are going to um, tighten the little magic circle shut, and we are now going to begin um, round number two. So for round number two, I am going to do a double crochet, uh, sorry, not a double crochet, a decrease in each stitch around. So this is kind to make the, the like the kind of big like, club foot, I don't know if that's right, the right turn or not, but that's to make the foot look. What I like to do is I like to weave in this little tail, but if you don't want to weave in that tail, that is totally fine. I don't like the idea of it ever coming out, so I just like to make sure it's nice and secure before I do the next row, because with the next row, you can't really make uh, secure this one, so I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and secure. There we go. I'm gonna cut my yarn. There we go. And... Now I'm going to begin round number two. So for round number two, we're going to decrease into the first, over the first two stitches. Grab my stitch marker. And we're just gonna do that in each stitch around. So to make a decrease, you're just gonna increase, or it's a single crochet decrease. So you're gonna incre insert your yarn, your hook into the first stitch, yarn pull through, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn pull through, yarn pull through all three loops on your hook. And I'm gonna do that two more times because I already did it once. There we go. Now you should have four stitches and I'm just going to kind of pop this out so the, the front is facing out, there we go. And now for round number three, we are going to single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker and there's only four stitches at this point. So not it's not very many stitches so single crochet in each stitch around now for round number four we are going to single crochet in the first stitch and then we are going to single crochet increase into the next stitch so I'm gonna move my stitch marker and you're gonna repeat that twice so single crochet into the first stitch increase in the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch increase in the last stitch stitch of round number four. And you should end up with six stitches. Now for round number five, you are going to single crochet in each stitch around. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Now, what you're gonna do is on the, um, depending on what, what if you're rather, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you're going to single crochet into the next three. So that was the end of round number five, and depending on what, um, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you're going to single crochet into the next three. So for the left, for me, I'm currently doing the left-handed tutorial, you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches for the left leg. So this is the left leg for a left-hander. For a right-hander, this would be the right leg. But basically, all that's supposed to mean is that, now you're gonna you cut your yarn, leaving yourself a nice long tail. Basically, all that means is that this side, I like to have it a little bit higher than the other side, so that when you sewed it onto the leg, so for me, this is the left side, as I just said, it, it kind of can go up the leg a little bit like that instead of just kind of being stuck at the bottom because that's how a realistic a triceratops is. So that's the, for me, that's the left leg and for a right-hander that would be the right leg. Now I'm going to make one more of those, this time not doing the single crochet into the last three stitches. And I'm gonna do that, I'll meet you right back. All right, so now I just completed leg, back leg number two. So this is back leg number two. And now what we are gonna do is we are going to make the two front legs and then we'll sew them on. So 
To make the front legs, all you're gonna do is you're gonna do exactly, um, you're gonna do exactly the same as the back legs. The only difference is you're not gonna do round number five. So back the video up, complete the leg, and then just don't do round number five. And then you'll do the same thing for the um, left leg, you will, for one of the legs, you'll do the extra three single crochets, and for one of the legs, you will not. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back. All right, so as you can see, I have finished my front legs and my back legs. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab, like what I like to do is I like to grab a chopstick um, and break the tip off so that it's really nice and jagged, and it just stuffs, um, stuff into this, little little hole really well so that's what I do but you can do it however you like but I would definitely add some stuffing in and you don't have to add crazy amounts but definitely add some stuffing so I'm going to stuff all four legs and I'll meet you right back all right so I just stuffed all of the legs and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this good old little triceratops body and we are going to attach the legs so for the, first, the front two legs, which are right here, we are going to, you're gonna wanna make sure that the side that you want is, uh, the side that each one was intended to be on is correct. So for this guy, it'll be on this side. You should end up with like a little edge right there and that should go against it. And then on this side, it should, go like this. So basically the little bit longer side should be on each side. Should be on each edge, kind of the corner edges. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna count, um, for the front legs, you're gonna count four rounds up. So one, two, three, and four. And the front of your legs will be on round four. Sorry, I feel like I'm struggling to, um, one, two, three, and four. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my darning needle and let's see if I can find where my darning needle went. Here we go. So I'm going to grab my darning needle and put the yarn on. And you can see that I'm at the bottom of my work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check that these are just about in the right position. You should have um, seven stitches apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and about seven. Doesn't have to be exactly, just roughly sometimes with. There we go, that looks really good. So I'm going to put, go ahead, and one, two, three, four. You can kind of get the idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about. I'm going to hold this down and we are going to just whip stitch it on to the body. Now this shouldn't take long. There's only six stitches to sew it onto. So I'm not going to um, let this take too long. There we go. And if you want to, when you're finishing, you, when you're doing like your last couple of stitches, you can always add a teensy bit more stuffing to that right there. I just really like, I'm a little bit of an overstuffer. Always have been, always will be probably, but um, that's that one. Now, if we put on that one, that will look really good, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this one and I'm gonna do the other side and I'll meet you back and we'll do the back legs together. All right, so as you can see, I just finished attaching the first two legs. Now for the back two, you're just gonna do the same thing. So you're going to, you're gonna attach it on round number 10 um, and it's roughly the same amount. So let's see, that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, so kind of back here, a little bit further back, like there we go. So that's about how it should look. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach these, make sure that you have the little bit longer side on the edge this side. So just kind of, you can pull out a little bit and it looks a little more dinosaur-like. And then I will meet you back. 
All right, so as you can see, I just got on the back legs and you want to do, when, as soon as you're done, you'll want to make sure you do a quick like stand check, make sure it stands nicely on its legs. Now you can weave in the tails for the legs and we're going to begin doing the horns. So I'm going to set aside my little triceratops and we're going to grab our 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is the first time that we've used this 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now what we're going to do is to begin, we are going to make a magic circle. And it looks like I have a little knot here from when the yarn came, so I'm just going to cut that off. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make a magic circle and you're going to um, single crochet four into that ring. I like to chain one and then single crochet four into it, but I know you don't have to do that. So two, three, and four. Now I'm going to close the magic circle. And we are going to, for round number uh, two, we are going to single crochet increase in the first stitch and then single crochet in the last three stitches. So you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch, make a single crochet increase, and then single crochet in next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now what I like to do is real quick, sorry my yarn ball is not wanting to unwind well. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to just kind of flip it out so that that um, it looks proper. Uh, like the out, the right side is facing out. Okay, so now we are going to, for rounds three and four, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So it's only five stitches, so I'm just gonna do this on camera. So two rounds of just single crocheting in each stitch around. I probably would recommend using a stitch marker, but my stitch marker disappeared. So I'm just going to kind of, I can tell where I began. So I am almost done. Three, there we go. All right, there you go. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to, in for round number five, you're going to increase in the first stitch. So make a single crochet increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and you're just going to repeat that. So increase in the first stitch, and then single crochet in the next stitch, and then into the last stitch, you'll just single crochet. Then you're going to chain, or not sorry, not chain one. You're going to, for round number six, you should have seven stitches, by the way, and for round number six, now you're just getting single crochet in each stitch around. So that is what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches. And you can see there was where we began. So I just finished my six there are my seven single crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch. Now I just like to slip stitch to join just to make it easier to sew onto um, the head because it's just more round and just easier. So now I'm going to tie off and there is your little horn. Now you're going to make one more of these. So rewind the video a little bit and we'll make one more of these with me and then I'll meet you back and we will make the front horn and sew these horns on. All right, so I just finished my two horns and I just stuffed them. Now what you're going to do with these horns is you're going to take the um, long tail that you have from your magic circle or the long-ish tail and then the long tail that you cut at the end and you're just going to make a knot with those two. And when you do that, kind of pull in your magic, or your magic, your tail that is the magic circle. And that will give a nice little curve that you can just kind of see a little bit. Um, I just like that. It just adds a little more definition. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one more time. I just like to like triple knot it and then I call it good. And I like to have the short tail that I'm just gonna cut off on the inside and then just cut it. So no one will ever know that I cut the tail. And then here are the two long uh, long horns. Now we're gonna make the short horn real quick. And all you do for the short horn is just the first two rows of the long horn. But let me show you how to do that. So make a magic circle, like we've already done several, several times before. 
Now you're going to um, chain one and single crochet four into the ring. One, two, three, and four. And close the magic circle. Now you're going to single crochet increase into the first stitch. One, two single crochet into the first stitch. And then two, single crochet in the next three stitches. Now I'm going to flip this out like that. And let me double check that that is correct. Yeah, so that is now all you're gonna do. And you're going to slip stitch to join with the first stitch. And now you just have this little cute kind of nubbin of a horn to sew onto the front. So I'm gonna cut my yarn and tie off. Now for this guy, I'm not gonna add stuffing just because it's so small you really couldn't. So now you're gonna grab your little triceratops and we're gonna add all the horns. So to do that, we're gonna grab the darning needle like we've been doing all along. And you're going to put the horns onto your, um, your triceratops on round seven, about four stitches apart. So this would be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it's going to, the front, the front of the horn will be on round seven, and there'll be about four stitches apart. One, two, three, and four. So I like to do about on the center and the center of the eyes on each side, and then that normally is really good. So I'm going to grab my. There we go. That's just about the center of both and then I'm just going to um, one two three four five six seven there we go now I'm going to just sew this one on and then I'll sew the other one on I'll meet you back then and we will sew the front horn on all right so I just finished sewing these two on now we're gonna do the front little mini horn of sorts and this is what will really make you feel like, oh yeah, 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 this looks like, um, this looks 100% like a Triceratops. So I can't wait to put it on. Now I'm going to just secure this a little bit more. And I'm just tying off the little tail and now we're gonna sew it on with the big tail. So I'm going to put it on my darning needle and we are going to go ahead and put it in the center of the, um, in the center between the eyes and roughly on round two. So you can kind of see there's round one, roughly on round two. It's approximate, it depends on what your favorite look is. But I'm just going to really quick whip stitch this on. It shouldn't take you more than a quick second. I'm going to go up here and just you know how to whip stitch stuff on, I hope. So you're just going to go around and around. And I'm just going to pull this down now so it's nice and secure. And there you go. There's your little, little um, front horn. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to just do the little toenails on each of these legs. I'm sorry, I will first actually um, take a little break and tie in all these tails, and then I'll meet you back so that we can finish this together without having tails all over. All right, so I just finished weaving in all my tails and it looks so much better and feels so much better. So now I'm going to grab a little piece of yarn, like probably 12 inches long, and I'm just going to attach um, it to the base of these, either whatever leg you wanna start. I'm gonna start at the front leg just for fun because I don't know why not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start basically right where the magic circle is. And my fingers are getting a little worn out. Okay, there we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go about one row up and you're gonna do that twice into the same spots. So that's gonna be your first nail. 
and I call them na like nails, like your fingernails, but you can call them whatever you want. <laughs> so that was my first one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go move over just a teensy dot, just so it doesn't look like it's all coming from the same exact spot, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now I'm just going to wrap up once or twice. Oops, that was to the same spot. You can kind of get the idea. So I just went over to the right and then I'll go over to the left and we're just making like three little wraps in a similar spot. That's the whole goal. So I'm just going to move back a little bit. I tend to get a little too perfectionistic and struggle with this a little bit, but you can, you can get the idea, I think. So I'm going to go here. And then we can go up here like that. And then I'm going to go over into the side a little bit over like that. And then I'm going to do two wraps on this side. So you can kind of get the idea, I hope, if not, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but I think you can get the idea of how to do that. So you can see now this is how it looks. All right, so I finally finished all the little toenails. Now what we're gonna, I wanted to show you how to do real quick is if you want to, you can add a mouth to this um, little triceratops. Now this is 100% optional, totally not necessary if you don't want to do it. Um, sorry, I was just cutting some yarn. There we go. Okay. So I just got some embroidery floss that's just black. And I just double stranded it. So it's two strands thick because this yarn is rather fuzzy. And so it just quickly hides. And so I did two strands, I found. And what I did is I found right about here on this side. It's going to be really hard to explain where to go. But just... And then I just go around to about this side. And then you can see it kind of just gives it a cute little smile. I think it adds some fun detail. And you can see, there we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Um, I just think it adds a little bit of fun detail and gives it some personality but it's obviously a hundred percent optional and if you decide you don't want to do it you don't have to so now we are done with the triceratops now if you want to um uh, make the little optional pacifier loop for adding a pacifier go check out my blog post and i will show you how to do that Thank you so much for making this adorable little triceratops along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video almost every Friday, so I'd love to see you there. Also, please don't forget to um, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, or comment down below and tell me what colors you made the triceratops in. I just love hearing from you guys. And so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.